بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students, in this lecture إن شاء الله we we'll study diaphragm, posterior abdominal wall, abdominal aorta, uh, inferior cava and lumbar plexus. Diaphragm. What is the diaphragm? Diaphragm is a muscular partition between thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity. Muscle. Separate thoracic cavity above, abdominal cavity below. Any muscle have origin insertion nerve supply and the action. What is the origin of the diaphragm? The diaphragm has three origin. What is called the sternal origin? Sternal origin from the sternum. Costal origin from ribs. Vertebral origin, vertebral origin from the vertebral column. The sternal origin from the back of the zoophyte process. From the back of the zoophyte process. This is a zoophyte process from its back. Costal origin from lower six costal cartilage. Lower six costal cartilage. Suppose this is the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. And this is the cross section. This is the sternum. And this is the lower six costal cartilage. Muscle fibers arise from the sternum. Muscle fibers arise from the lower six costal cartilage. All this meet with each other in what is called central tendon of diaphragm. This is the central tendon of diaphragm in our meeting of these fibers. This is the sternal origin and this is the costal origin. Now, what is the vertebral origin? From the vertebral column. <coughs> Again, suppose this is the diaphragm and this is the vertebral column in the back. This is the vertebral column, first lumbar vertebrae, end one. End one. And this is second lumbar vertebrae. L2 and this is the third lumbar vertebrae L3. Muscle fibers are uh, the vertebral origin arises from this lumbar vertebrae. Here, muscle fibers arise from the body of the first lumbar, second lumbar, and the third lumbar. This is called right cross, right cross. Muscle fibers arise from the body of the first lumbar and second lumbar, and this is called left cross of the frame. Right cross, we left cross, and left cross. Right cross, and left cross. Between the two crura, Muscle fibers or tendinous fibers connect the right cross with the left cross. This is called median, median arcuate ligament connected to crura. We make this crura by another color, median arcuate ligament. Another tendinous fibers connect to crura with the tip of transversal process of first lumbar vertebrae called the medial, medial, but this is median and this is medial, arcuate ligament, right and left. Third arcuate ligament, suppose it's the last rib, this is the last rib. Another tendinous fibers between the tip of transverse process of first lumbar vertebrae and last rib called lateral arcuate ligament of a median 
وميديال ولاترال this structures gives the fibers enter the diaphragm again this is the diaphragm this is the sternal origin this is the costal origin suppose this is the vertebral column fibers from this structures enter the diaphragm to share in the a origin of diaphragm which is called the vertebral origin so the origin of diaphragm has a sternal origin costal origin and the vertebral origin of diaphragm insertion of the diaphragm in the center of the diaphragm called central tendon tendinous fibers meeting with each other in a crescentic shape called central tendon of diaphragm this is the origin and the and the insertion of diaphragm origin and the insertion of diaphragm nerve supply which nerve supplies diaphragm the diaphragm have motor nerve supply and sensor motor by phrenic nerve phrenic nerve is motor phrenic nerve which moves the diaphragm but the periphery of the diaphragm have sensation sensory from lower six or lower seven thoracic nerve lower six and or lower seven thoracic nerve supply diaphragm sensation action of the diaphragm the diaphragm is the main muscle of inspiration contraction of the diaphragm descend the down descend the down and increase increase the thoracic cavity to allow distension of the lung during inspiration what is the relation of the diaphragm superior relation and inferior relation superior very simple lung right lung left lung lung and the pleura lung and the pleura in the middle the heart and the pericardium a superior relation lung and pleura heart and pericardium this is a superior relation what is the inferior relation on the right side and the left side in the right side right lobe of the liver right lobe of the liver right kidney and the right supranal gland in the left side left lobe of the liver left kidney left supranal gland also fundus of the stomach so left lobe of the liver fundus of the stomach left kidney and left suprarenal gland this is the inferior relation of diaphragm diaphragm is a partition between thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity yes but there are opening in the diaphragm to allow structure passing from uh, from the thoracic cavity to abdominal cavity or from the abdominal cavity to the thoracic cavity opening there are three major opening and three minor opening three major and three minor opening the major opening of the diaphragm one two three opening for abdominal aorta opening for inferior vena cava opening for esophagus we can summarize this three opening by V O A vena cava opening esophageal opening aortic opening diaphragm this is the diaphragm name and the shape the diaphragm is a large dome shaped musculotendinous partition which separates thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity its upper surface is convex toward the thoracic cavity while its lower surface is concave toward the abdominal cavity its right side called the right copula bulb or elevation called the right copula its left side called the left copula again this is a diaphragm an origin sternal origin costal origin and the vertebral origin the sternal origin from the sternum costal origin from the ribs vertebral origin from the vertebral column sternal origin 
Why two steps from the back of the zephyr process? You consider only from the sternum, from the back of the zephyr process. Costal organ pi steps from the inner surface of the lower sex of costal cartilage. And vertebral origin pi, right cross, left cross, and the arcuate ligament. Right cross arises from the bodies of upper three lumbar vertebrae, lumbar one, lumbar two, and the lumbar three. Left cross arises from the bodies of upper two lumbar vertebrae. This is the right cross of the frame. And this is the left cross of the frame, right cross of the frame, and the left cross of the frame. Arcuate ligament, median arcuate ligament, median between two cura, median arcuate ligament. The median arcuate ligament, tendinous arch that connect two cura together, lower right cross and the left cross. Medial arcuate ligament, median, tendinous arch that connect the cross with the tip of transversal process of the first lumbar vertebrae. Lateral arcuate ligament, right and left, tendinous arch which connect the tip of the transversal process of the first lumbar vertebrae with the last rib. The origin of the frame, sternal origin, costal origin, and the vertebral origin. Vertebral origin, lower two crura, and three arcuate ligament. Median, one median, and two medial right and left, or two lateral right and left. If insertion of the diaphragm in this wide area called the central tendon. Insertion, the fibers of the sternal or costal and vertebral part converge to insert into crescentic central tendon, which is more anterior than posterior in its position. Nerve supply, phrenic nerve. Motor, you have a motor which moves the frame by phrenic nerve, but also branches from lower six or seven intercostal nerve sensory to the periphery of the diaphragm. Action, oh, the, 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 the diaphragm is the main muscle of inspiration, main muscle of inspiration of the right press of the diaphragm, it leads to this. It's contraction lead to descend, descend and increase the vertical diameter of thoracic cavity. The contraction descends down and increase in the of thoracic cavity, allowing inspiration. Relations of the diaphragm. Upper surface. The central tendon is related to the pericardial and heart. Central tendon in the middle, pericardial and heart. Right cobra. Right cobra related to the right pleura and the base of right lung. Left cobra related to the left pleura and the base of the left lung. Lower surface, right cobra and the left cobra. Right cobra is related to the right lobe of the liver, right kidney and the right supranal genin. Left cobra is related to the left lobe of the liver, fundus of the stomach, left kidney and the left suprarenal genin. This is the relation. Major opening of the diaphragm. There are three major openings vena cava opening, esophageal opening, aortic opening. What is the level of this three opening? Vena cava opening T8, esophageal opening T10, aortic opening T12. You increase 2, 8, 10, 12. What is the site? The vena cava opening present in the central tendon. Why? For asking it. Osophageal opening present in the flesh part of the diaphragm. Why? Aortic opening behind the immediate arcuate ligament. Also why? <coughs> inferior vena cava opening of the inferior vena cava present in the central tendon. Central tendon actually suppose this is inferior vena cava. This is inferior vena cava. Now in this section, this opening for inferior vena cava. Muscle fibers attached to the wall of the inferior vena cava, and during the contraction of this muscle, contraction of this muscle, this muscle don't compress the inferior vena cava but it dilates the inferior vena cava. So again, 
Second opening, esophageal opening. Esophageal opening present in the right crust of the frame. The right crust is a fleshy fibers, fleshy fibers, not tendinous fibers. Fleshy fibers contract and relaxate. Contract and relaxate. You, uh, the opening of the esophagus present in the fleshy fibers of the right crust. So during the contraction of these fibers, it compresses the esophagus and act as a sphincter for the esophagus. The, you, uh, in, in the right crust of the frame, muscular or fleshy fibers act as a sphincter for esophagus. An aortic opening, suppose this is aorta, abdominal aorta, surrounded by right crust and the left crust, right crust and the left crust in front of this crust in arcuate ligament, median arcuate ligament. Also, the median arcuate ligament protected aorta from compression. Aorta protected from the compression by the muscle of the diaphragm by medial arcuate ligament. Act as bridge, bridge. <coughs> a sign to answer sign the vena cava in the central tendon. Osophagus and right our fleshy and osophagus fleshy part of right cars and our top behind the median arcuate ligament. Content contents of each opening three content one two three one two three one two three. At the first content the same as the name in full vena cava opening containing in full vena cava. Osophagus opening containing osophagus. Aorta opening containing aorta. Another two content in the vena cava opening, right phrenic nerve and lymph vessels. Right phrenic. Only right, right phrenic. Osophageal right. opening. First content, osophagus. Second content, right and left vigor. Then osophageal branch of left gastric vessel. Left gastric vessels which is supply the stomach gives osophageal branches. Content of the aortic opening, first content from its name, aorta. The second content, thoracic duct. Third content, azagas vein. Usually, the medical student asks about these contents. This table is very important for medical student. Level of each opening, the size of each opening, and the content. Minor opening. Also, there are three minor openings we can summarize or can summarize by S, S, S. Splanchnic nerve, S. Pairs of crura of the frame. Sympathetic trunk, S. Pass behind the medial arcuate ligament. Superior epigastric artery. Pass behind the slips of sternal origin. Posterior abdominal wall, muscles of the posterior abdominal wall. We begin by very important muscles called psoas major muscle. Psoas major muscle. Psoas major muscle. Origin of the psoas major muscle. It takes origin from last thoracic vertebrae, T12 body, and from the body of all lumbar, body of all lumbar, L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5. But take origin from the body of T12, L1, L2, L3, L4, and L. Body. Also, it takes origin from intervertebral disc in between. Intervertebral disc. Intervertebral disc. Origin from the intervertebral disc. 
Also, it takes origin from transversal process of all lumbar vertebrae. All lumbar vertebrae. Origin from transversal process of all lumbar vertebrae. This is the psoas major muscle. So was major muscle. The muscle descend and in the pelvis there are another muscle called iliacus. Iliacus take origin from the iliac fossa of the hip bone. The two muscle pass deep to the inguinal ligament and joining each other and form form one tendon called iliopsoas, iliopsoas tendon, which inserted into this trochanter of the femur. So as major, iliacus, was deep to the inguinal ligament and joining the two muscles of each other to one tendon called iliopsoas tendon, inserted into this trochanter of the femur. This is the origin and inception. The nerve supply from lumbar nerve, diet from anterior primary rami from L1, L2, L3, and L4, L4 lumbar nerve. Origin, insertion, nerve side. Action, what is the action? This muscle acting from origin to insertion, like this, when the origin stretches the insertion, flex, flex the A, the side. But also, it can act from insertion to the origin like this, uh, flex the trunk, as Rising from recumbent position, recumbent position, or uh, yeah, this is flex the trunk. This is the action of a psoas major. Only one muscle, if act alone, it may be it make it or help in the lateral flexion of the trunk. This is the action of psoas major. Origin and such nerve supply and action. What is the relations of the psoas major? Very important relations, anterior relations, posterior relation, medial and lateral relations. This is the psoas major muscle. This is the origin from. This is the psoas major muscle. Origin from the site of the last thoracic vertebrae and all lumbar vertebrae and the intervening intervertebral disc. Lumbar transversal processes. All lumbar transversal processes. Of course, the muscle. Leave the abdomen behind the lateral part of the inguinal ligament, closely related to the iliacus muscle, with two muscles together form iliopsoas, which insert into the lesser trochanter of the femur. Nerve supply anterior primary lamai of L1, L2, L3, and L4 in action from its origin, flexion, flex of the main flexor of the side, the main flexor of the side. From its insertion, it produces flexion of the trunk over the side when rising from recumbent position. In fractured neck of the femur, fractured neck of the femur, the psoas major produces flexion and the lateral rotation of the side. Fractured neck of the femur in this area, fractured here, fractured of the neck in this area. The muscle produces flexion and the lateral rotation and the lateral rotation of the side. The side becomes flexed and the laterally rotated. What is the relation of the psoas major? Medial border. Medial border. In this diagram, this is a psoas major muscle in this side and psoas major of another side. A sympathetic chain, right and left, sympathetic chain. External iliac artery, external iliac artery, this is the external iliac artery. In, uh, medial, medial to the psoas major. In vena cava, this is in vena cava also medial and abdominal aorta medial to this muscle of this side. 
obturator nerve and the lumbosacral trunk in the pelvis. This is a median relation, median. Posterior relation, a lumbar transversal process, lumbar transversal process of the lumbar vertebrae. Also, this muscle, which you call the quadratus lumborum, interdeed deep to the muscle. So, a major cover part of the quadratus lumborum muscle. Also, in this area, below the inguinal ligament, the muscle related posteriorly to the a capsule of the hip joint. Anterior or anterior lateral relation of the muscle in front of the muscle from the uh, from above medial arcuate ligament medial arcuate ligament and small muscle which may be absent called so was minor so was minor muscle uh, the kidney right and the left kidney right and the left and renal vessels or ureter. You have a kidney right and left renal vessels and ureter. We go ahead and vessels in our testicular in male or ovarian in female. Also, a genitofemoral nerve, which is a branch from lumbar vessels discussed now, inshallah. Also related to structure in the abdomen, there's a terminal part of the ilium with cecum in front and the right side, with terminal part of descending the colon and the submitted colon in the left side, inguinal ligament and the femoral cheese of the side. Lateral relation. Lateral relation branches from the lumbar plexus. Quadratus lumborum muscle, then this branches of the lumbar plexus, which is discussed now in details. The quadratus lumborum muscle and iliacus muscle. Two muscles, quadratus lumborum and iliacus. And this branches from the lumbar plexus from above down wall. Ilio hypogastric nerve, ilio inguinal nerve. Lateral cutaneous nerve of the side and femoral nerve, which is a branch from lumbar plexus, discussed in details in now in lumbar plexus. Another two muscles in the posterior abdominal wall, psoas minor and the quadratus lumborum. Psoas minor, very small muscles in the front psoas major, present only in 60% and 60% of people, but so it is maybe absent, maybe absent. And 40% of people. What is the origin of psoas minor? It, take, it takes origin from T12, the body of T12, and the body of L1. This is the origin of psoas minor. This small muscle descend and inserted in elevation present in the hip bone called the iliopectinal eminence. Iliopectinal eminence, which are present in the hip bone. This is a psoas minor muscle. Nerve supply, ventral mine of the first lumbar vertebrae. In action, it is a weak flexor of the vertebral column. Another muscle called the quadratus lumborum. Suppose this is the iliac crest. Iliac crest. And this is L5. There are ligament between iliac crest and L5. Ilu lumbar ligament. The muscle take origin from inner lip of the iliac crest and medial part of the inner of the iliac crest. Also take origin from this ligament, iliac lumbar ligament, and the muscle ascend and insert it into last rib, a medial part of the last rib. Remember, the psoas major cover part of quadratus lumborum muscle. It's the origin and the insertion of quadratus lumborum muscle. Nerve supply from subcostal nerve, low T12, and L1, L2, and L3. Action, lateral flexion of the vertebral column. Lateral flexion of the a vertebral column. It also, it, it's a muscle of inspiration. It fixes the last rib during inspiration. This is the quadratus lumborum muscle. So was minor muscle. Is a very small muscle lying in front of the psoas major. This is the psoas minor muscle. Origin from the body of T12 and L1. Insertion into eminence called iliomectinal eminence in the hip bone. Nerve supply from L1. Action weak flexor 
of the lumbar vertebrae, the quadrate slumborum, this is the quadrate slumborum muscle, origin from the iliolumbar ligament, and a joint part of 5 cm of the inner leg of the iliac crest, insertion into medial half of lower border of the last rib, lower last insert in the last rib, nerve supply subcostal nerve and the ventral mouth L1, L2, L3, L action lateral flexion of the vertebral column was a mass of inspiration by fixing a last rib during the contraction of the diaphragm. The muscles of the posterior abdominal wall, so was major, so was minor, and the quadratus lamborum muscles. Abdominal aorta. Abdominal aorta. This is the abdominal aorta. Beginning, the beginning of the abdominal aorta at the aortic opening, aortic opening, which at the level of T12. Then the aorta descends in the front of the vertebral column. Suppose so it's L1, L2, L3, and L4. L1, L2, L3, L4. As in beginning at the aortic opening in the diaphragm at the level of uh, T12. A termination at the lower border of the fourth lumbar vertebrae. Origin and beginning and termination. Branches of the abdominal aorta. The abdominal aorta gives what's called single branches and paired branches. What is a single branches? Single branches. At the level of the upper border of the L1, it gives celiac trunk. Celiac. Maybe CE or like the celiac, celiac trunk. This is at the level of the upper border of the first lumbar vertebrae. At the lower border of the first lumbar vertebrae, gives superior mesenteric artery. At third lumbar vertebrae, it gives inferior mesenteric artery. Opposite the back of fourth lumbar vertebrae, back opposite the fourth lumbar vertebrae, median sacral artery. This is a single branches. Celiac trunk, superior mesenteric, inferior mesenteric, median sacral. Paved branches opposite the upper border or at the level of the upper border of first lumbar vertebrae, phrenic to the diaphragm. Opposite the lower border of the first lumbar vertebrae, middle suprarenal. This is the kidney. Right kidney and left kidney, renal artery, opposite second lumbar vertebrae. This is the suprarenal gland, right and left. This artery called middle suprarenal to the suprarenal gland. Opposite third lumbar vertebrae, gonadal. Gonadal, testicular in male, ovarian in female. Opposite, fourth lumbar vertebrae, bifurcation, bifurcation of aorta to common area. This is the branches of the abdominal aorta. We can summarize in a table. L1, upper border. With lower border, upper border in the single celiac, superior mesenteric, bend upper border, pharynx, 
lower border of the first lumbar middle suprarenal L2 no single branches paired branches renal L3 inferior mesenteric paired branches gonadal L4 single branches from the back median sacral artery paired branches of bifurcation of the abdominal artery to right and left to common iliac this is the branches of abdominal aorta branches of the abdominal aorta phrenic artery arise from the front of the abdominal opposite and upper border of L1, middle suprarenal at the lower border of the L1, renal opposite L2, gonadal not stipular in male, ovarian, and female, opposite the cell lumbar vertebrae, median. Sacral, median sacral artery arise from the back of the door opposite and fourth lumbar vertebrae and bifurcation and bifurcation of the abdominal aorta lower gives the common head. Bifurcation of the abdominal aorta into two common iliac opposite the lower border of the fourth lumbar vertebrae. Inferior vena cava, inferior vena cava in vein from down upward beginning by joining of the two common iliac artery and ascend upward the beginning of the inferior vena cava opposite a fifth lumbar vertebrae L5 this is L4, third, second, and so on. The inferior vena cava ascend upward and terminate at vena cava opening in the diaphragm at the level of eighth lumbar vertebrae. Beginning of the inferior vena cava lower border of the fifth lumbar vertebrae lower uh, fifth lumbar vertebrae union of two common iliac veins a termination at the central tendon of the diaphragm opposite T10 of course it begins from down upward in front of the vertebral column what is the tributary of the inferior vena cava? two common iliac common iliac Yes, two pairs of lumbar veins, third lumbar veins, two renal veins, two renal veins, right suprarenal, right suprarenal, remember left suprarenal drain into left renal, right suprarenal, and right gonadal, right gonadal, this is a right gonadal artery, remember a left gonadal end in the left renal. Two phrenic from the diaphragm, two phrenic vein from the diaphragm, with two hepatic veins from the liver. Lumbar plexus. The lumbar plexus formed of first four lumbar segments in the one. In the one, in the two. L3, L4. From L1, it gives two branches. L2, 
هايبو جاستريك اند اليو انجوينال ويتش اريز فروم ال1 فروم ال1 اند ال2 جيفز نيرف كولد جيني 2 فيمورال فروم ال2 اند ال3 It gives a nerve called the lateral cutaneous nerve of the side. L2 and L3. From L2, L3, L4. Also from L2, L3 and L4. Ventral and dorsal. Ventral it gives obturator nerve. Obturator nerve. Dorsal it gives femoral nerve. Obturator and femoral nerve is the same, the same root value. Again, L1, L1, L hypogastric. And L1 and L2 genit femoral. L2 and L3 lateral cutaneous nerve of the side. L2, 3, 4. L2, 3, 4. Obturator and femoral. Obturator ventral division. And this is from dorsal division. Also remember from L4, L4, another color, from L4 and L5 sharing in another plexus, the sacral plexus gives it what's called the lumbo sacral trunk which enter sacral plexus, L4 and L5. Sometimes if present from L3 and L4 nerve what's called accessory obturator. If present, accessory obturator from L3 and L4. This is a formation of lumbar plexus. Again, lumbar plexus, it is followed from L1, L2, and L3. From L1, it gives L hypogastric and L guinal. From L1 and L2, genitofemoral. From L2 and L3, lateral cutaneous nerve of the side. From L2, 3, 4, ventral division, obturator, dorsal division, femoral. If present, L3 and 4, accessory obturator. And from L4 and L5, fibers joining to form what's called the lumbosacral trunk, enter the sacral plexus. Genital femoral nerve, later on, divided into genital branch and the femoral branch. Femoral branch is sent to supply. Lower limb and the genital branch supplying external genitalia, scrotum, and the labia major in male and female. What is the relation of lumbar plexus to the psoas major muscle? Very important relation of psoas major to and the lumbar plexus. This is the psoas major muscle, arise from the vertebral column, like this. Nerve present in front of the psoas major, in front of the psoas major, which is genitofemoral nerve, genitofemoral, in front. This muscle is iliacus muscle. Nerve is related to the lateral border of the psoas major muscle. Ilio hypogastric, ilio hypogastric, ilio inguinal, lateral cutaneous nerve of side and in between psoas major and iliacus, 
this nerve big nerve called the femoral nerve يبقى lateral to the soas major ilio hypogastric ilio guana lateral to the nerve the side femoral in front of the soas genitofemoral media to the soas major muscle two nerves related to the lumbar plexus obturator nerve and lumbo sacral trunk this is the relation of lumbar plexus to the soas major muscle